Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the 6th episode in Windows Privilege Escalation series. And in this video, we'll be discussing about insecure service executables which comes under service exploits. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So, guys, we covered some previous part so we covered like five episodes in this particular uh, windows privilege escalation series uh, so previously we completed this uh, weak registry permissions in the service exploits and by the, uh, by the end and this video is going to be the end of the service exploits from then from next we'll be discussing about registry passwords and whatever it is so and if you want to check out my notes so this is some kind of handbook you can check out the link of this no uh, this github repo in the description so this is like my handbook guys so you don't you can't expect it to be a complete wholesome of uh, information but it's going to be helpful okay if you want to if you're stuck somewhere and if you want to know more about it and if you haven't followed the previous videos in this uh, uh, series you can check out this playlist all the links are in the description below so i quickly started so quickly start this particular machine and i already started it's like some time and uh, this is the connection here uh, you can see that i got a rdb connection here so or something whatever you can call and you can see i transfer reverse.exe shell.exe and winpeach.exe so that's the basic thing that i've done and also i noted down this l host and the shell.exe uh, is configured with port 444 and uh, reverse.exe for five ports whatever it is okay so we're done so what we'll do is like let's start a listener uh, let's get a shell session so nc hyphen nblp and port 444 and uh, let me go back here and let's run the shell.exe so running in the sense just name it and you can see we got a session here okay so now what we'll do is like we'll try to run winpeace and with an option services info so winpeace so also guys some are asking me like why you are running with this thing so it's your choice guys so I just, since we are working on services part so i'm checking for this but you can go you can simply run the win piece as well you'll get all these options but it takes some time okay so i hit it enter here and you can see uh, it's taking some time okay so we'll get service information so first of all uh, we got the information but let's go back and let's see what this insecure service executables means so we already discussed that service is nothing but an application which is running in the background let's hear what happens is like so there is some application or a program whatever you can call which can be re uh, rewritable okay so what we can do is like uh, the permissions given to this folder or location is read and write by everyone here so in this example so what we'll be trying to do is like so there is a uh, binary called as file perm service.exe so which uh, is like a uh, executable for a particular service so we'll see uh, what are the permissions do we have and then we'll name that okay we'll rename with our reverse.exe uh, with a particular name and we'll get a session so as simple as that guys so here what happens is like simply uh, we'll get uh, we'll be able to uh, write rewrite the file okay binary which this uh, service with that particular service is using so in order to find out what service is having that kind of thing so you can go here and you can see there is a service called as file perm svc and you can see file permissions everyone access so like you don't even need to run this access check by default you can see we are getting a good information here like uh, you can see it is in code so no co no uncoded service path it's manual and stop and you can see the file permissions for this particular uh, service okay is something like uh, like everyone can access it in the sense like you can read it you can write new files okay, you can rename you can delete this file and you can rename it something whatever it is okay so what we'll try to do is like we'll even try to run this access check so let me go back here and let's run this thing so like i'm just running by default guys so if you want to know more about this access check so there is a docs for uh, docs.microsoft.com uh, resource for this thing so you can do check that out so let me paste it here and you can see we have read and write for everyone guys so this is something which is a lot of vulnerable you can see services run with a system called as nt uh, like a user called as nt authority system you can't call it a user but it is related to something like a service kind of thing for services kind of thing so you can see that read and write to everyone so what we'll try to do is like uh, we'll try to copy this thing so we even got this how we can do it so uh, so let me copy this path guys and uh, let me copy this path of this uh, 
uh, this particular uh, service okay so what we'll try to do is like uh, you can see everything is written here guys but uh, the location is not my uh, reverse.exe's location is not in this particular directory so what we'll try to do is like we'll simply run copy uh, reverse.exe since it is in this location only uh, verse.exe and let me paste it and let me hit enter you can see overwrite so if you want you can we will be overwriting it because there is already something like with this name so let me hit y and let me hit enter you can see it is copied here so before that we'll open a new tab okay and uh, we'll oh, we'll run this thing like a netcat thing so netcat will open a listener on port 555 okay four fives if an nvlp and port 5555 let me hit enter and let's start this service so starting service is simple guys so sc uh, start uh, what is the name of the file uh, let me go back to the top once again let me copy this uh, thing name yeah file perm svc the service name you need to mention the service name so i think it's pasted i think so yes let me hit enter you can see it will start okay it is started and you can see guys if i run a who am i you can see we are anti authority system like this is how this is as simple as this guy so whenever if you find a services which has a uh, read uh, like everyone has that access to that particular file then you can simply uh, upload a reversion okay and you can copy with the name of that particular uh, binary which that particular service is using and if you start that particular service manually once again you will be getting a reverse session so this is simple guys so pre compared to the previous uh, uh, service exploits this is kind of easy so with this what we can conclude is like this is like mostly these are some service exploits like uh, like how you can escalate your privileges from a normal user to some admin user or some higher privilege user through the help of services so like whenever i'm looking whenever i'm doing a uh, windows privilege escalation so the first thing that i look for is the service exploits kernel exploits is not at all good guys because like if you use it or a bad kernel exploit what will possibly happen is like the system that you are working the target system will crash and this is going to be a big problem so you need to restart that machine or reset that machine it is going to take some time but this service exploits is what i use okay and we already discussed like some different paths like insecure service permissions unquoted service path weak registry permissions and insecure service executables so this is as simple as that guys so make use make a good use of winpeas okay so winpeas is the tool that i use every time okay it is like a beautiful tool or awesome tool whatever you can call so that's the only tool that i started using and then followed by the windows exploit suggestion so that is how and access check is one more tool uh, like how we, we can check for the permissions of that particular file but uh, you don't even need to use an access check guys because in the output you can see like it uh, mentioned clearly like uh, let me go back once you can see they clearly mention like a read and write access to everyone you can see everyone has an access all access in the sense like read and write so if you make use of, if you make a good use of winpeace it is good to go so that is it guys for this video in the next videos we'll be covering the next part so service exploits party section is done so in the next video we'll cover this uh, registry part okay so and then the passwords passwords are an easy thing i'll try to cover all of them in a single video and these are some kind of easy only so that is it guys if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you